everyone, CFL Park Hopper here at the brand new Endless Summer Resort. This is part of Universal Orlando's hotels and we are here today to check it out. We are here at the surf side of the hotel. Uh, the dock side is going to be the other part of the hotel coming and it's going to come next summer. So this just opened, it's brand new. Let's go in and check it out. Okay, so just to get your bearings, this stoplight over here uh, this road running this way, this is I International Drive and going straight across is Universal Boulevard. So the Universal Theme Park is directly up that hill. Um, it was literally a, like a five minute bus ride just down the street um, here to the hotel. Across over there is the dock side part of the hotel that's being built. And this right here is the surf side. Check out the really neat artwork here on the side of the building as well. It's really cool. And again, this hotel is called the Endless Summer Resort. And if you're familiar with this area, this is where Wet n Wild Water Park used to be. So it is no longer here because we now have Volcano Bay. You can see the top of the volcano right over here. So we're real close to that. There's the Aventura Hotel right there. Actually, no, that's Cabana Bay over there because that's Aventura right there. So we're really close um, to the Universal Parks, okay? It's really not far and they have complimentary bus service to get you right over there to the theme park, which I'll show you in a bit. But let's head on inside and give it a peek. Here we are at the Surfside Inn and Suites, Universal Orlando. Look at how neat it is. I like the chandelier, it's like nets. And fish nets. And look at these wood panels. And the surfboards spelling out Surfside. Those are the check in desks over here. More wood panels, it's really cool. So, this is um, Universal's now Value Resort. The Value Resort before was Cabana Bay, um, but this is now the cheapest resort. Uh, you can get rooms here for like $73 a night. They also have family suites, I think, for maybe like $127. Um, so, they can sleep maybe five to six people. So, you know, that's really nice for your family. Look at all these nice chairs to sit in. I'm gonna check one of these out. Ah, this is great just to chillax. So again, really affordable place. Um, they have their own food court, they have their own swimming pool, so you can do all of that. And they have the complimentary bus service, as I said earlier, to get you over to uh, the City Walk, where then you can get into Universal Studios Islands of Adventure. And they have a separate bus that will drive you directly to Volcano Bay. So that's really cool as well. So let's keep looking around. They also have all this great counter space that you can sit and you can plug in your electronic devices. Uh, maybe you're on your checkout day and you're waiting to go to the airport. You can sit here and do some work on your computer. They have all this other great furniture as well. All this stuff is so fun to sit on. Like really unique. Check out this side. I'm just enamored with the lobby. I could just come over here and sit. This is cool. Let's sit over here on this couch. <laughs> it's comfy and has a little stool. You can put your drink. Here's the cafe, so let's head on in there and see what they have to eat. And there's a Starbucks right here as well. So you can get some coffee, you can chill out. Let's head into the cafe. Okay, so we're inside the cafe. They have some grab-and-go stuff right when you come in. Um, they have cereal and Pop-Tarts, chips, cups of noodles, things like you could probably have in your room quickly, things like that. Breads and danishes and cookies, snack stuff. You have beer and wine in here. And other beverages and things. Okay, it's late afternoon right now, so it's not quite dinner. Um, but lunch and dinner looks like, okay, it's the same menu, it looks like. So this area is the, the deli area, looks like. You can get sandwiches and salads. Oh, that's cool. It's still here. Here's some of the stuff you can get. Here's some of the sandwiches and salads over on this side. Over here they have hot food, roasted chicken, herb crusted, herb crusted cod, power bowls, carne asada. Uh, adobo chicken, herb marinated tofu even, so you have a vegetarian option. They have burgers, chicken tenders, they even have pizza and baked ziti and chicken alfredo, so all kinds of choices here at your hotel. They also have um, breakfast in this area in the morning, so you are totally set up at your hotel for eating. You know, or you can always, of course, grab food on the City Walk or inside the theme parks as well if you want to spend a longer time over there. Here's where you can sit and eat nice booths. 
I love all the wood. It's really cool. And they have coffee and hot chocolate. And they have one of those uh, Coke freestyle machines because you can get the cups here. I'll show you. Probably they're in the um, gift shop. But you can purchase them um, and I'll show you how they work when I find it. Look out here, you can sit at the sunroom area with picnic tables and it's just a nice theme. So overall, I really like the theme of this resort. It's really cool. All right, and if we keep going straight down past the uh, cafe and the sign says Tower 2, there's a game room and a fitness center back here. So let's check that out. And the pool's right over here as well. They do have an ATM on site if you need cash. And they have a game room right here with video games and things, arcade style. That's pretty neat. Inside, I'll get a little closer. That's pretty cool. Air hockey machine. Let's see, and they have a fitness center up here. So here's the fitness center. All kinds of machines in there. And more windows on this side. A nice size fitness center. So that's really cool. All right, and then they let's head out here by the pool and they have a little sandbar place you can get food out here it looks like and drinks and I assume these elevators would take you up to your room if you're staying in tower two if you're staying upstairs all right so here's the sandbar looks like you can get drinks here they have all their signature drinks written down Some of those sound pretty good. Let's check out the pool. They do have complimentary towels by the pool as well. So that's nice to know why you're here on your stay. All right, here's the pool. So it's a pretty good sized pool. So you do have to use your room key to get in. So that's nice. Um, and these, um, this hotel, you cannot pool hop. You got to stay here at your resort um, and swim. So, and I believe Cabana Bay, you have to stay at that. If you're staying at Cabana Bay, you can only swim at Cabana Bay. But I think the other hotels, you can pool hop. So if you've stayed at any of the hotels and you can verify, let me know. Because I've heard different things and for a while I thought you could pool hop from any of them. But um, I did read that this hotel, you can only stay, only swim at this hotel pool you can't pool hop from this hotel so maybe the bottom tiered pools or tiered hotels you can only swim at your own pool but maybe the upper tiered hotels you can pool hop but uh let me know but you know pool hopping i think would really only matter if you are staying for a really long time you know like more than like two days uh maybe four or five days would have really come in handy i think and if you're getting a volcano bay pass you don't really need to pool hop because you'll be at the water park so but yeah it's a pretty simple little resort it's just the two sides this building on this side this building on this side which is where the cafe was there's even a cafe entrance right there and you can eat outside if you want and there's the lobby and here's the pool so pretty easy little resort like I said it's very affordable right now and it does accommodate larger families so I think that's nice too for the affordability and you're basically on universal property Okay, I, I just came back in the lobby from the pool and now I'm headed to the other side because there's a Universal Studios store. And what I love about the hotel pool, um, stores, I was gonna say pools, <laughs> I was talking about pools, is that you can get a lot of the same merchandise that you can get in the theme parks at your hotel store instead of having to carry stuff around from the theme parks. So they have endless summer stuff, which I think is cool um, because you know this is your resort. So if you wanna take home little souvenirs, from this resort you can. Little shot glasses are cute or coasters or they have cups and things like that. They have swim attire in case you forgot your swimsuit or want to buy a new swimsuit while you're here. You know they have tons of that but you know this is the kind of stuff that they could sell in the park like Jurassic Park or the superheroes from Marvel. You know the Simpsons who wear um, the cat in the hat stuff or despicable me things things like this that you can buy inside the theme park you can also buy here they have the harry potter stuff they have a huge harry potter selection over here they even have wands for sale and the robes so 
you know, you get it here and be able to take it home easily instead of carrying it around and having to put it in lockers while you ride rides and things. The brand new Hagrid Magical Motorbike Adventure has its own shirt, so that's cool. And I recently did a video to show you what that ride looks like. You can't film on the rides at Universal, but I got up close near the ride and was able to show it, and it's a remarkable ride. Um, this is the ride vehicle, what Hagrid's riding on his little motorbike with the sidecar. And you get to ride on the motorbike or in the sidecar, and it's an amazing experience. So check it out when you come. It's in Islands of Adventure. All right, so that's the store. So lots of cool stuff. So I'm back where I started with the um, Coke machines earlier. Where I was going to tell you about the refillable cups. So they have the universal refillable cups that you can buy inside the theme parks. And um, then you can refill them each day of your stay. But here at, the, here at the resort, they have an actual endless summer cup. And I think, though, that these can only be filled at the resort. And here's the price on these. One day is $9, two days is 12 and so on and so forth. So you can get that. But these can only be filled here at the resort, not inside the theme park. So uh, the other cup you have to buy in the theme park, and it's only refillable there. So it's one or the other. You'll have to decide what works best for you. All right, let's head out. I'm going to show you where the buses are, and I'll show you how quick it is to get over to the City Walk, because that's where I'm headed. Okay, we're well, left with the Universal Studios store right here in front of the Hagrid's merchandise. If you were to head towards Tower 1, you see Resort Shuttle. You can just come right in here. They even have a place for you to check your luggage on your day of checkout. But you just come right through right over here, straight ahead. It says Resort Shuttle, and you just come out the door. You're facing the Dockside Resort that's going to open next summer. And right here they have a sign for Volcano Bay. So if the bus was here, you could go straight to Volcano Bay. They come like every five minutes, the buses. So it's a very short wait. And we're going to jump on this bus over here. That's going to take us to City Walk, which is where we can then, you know, head into Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. So let's get going here. All right, so we're heading out. By the way, they're still doing work on the street right in front of us, planting the trees and making the road look pretty right in front of the resort. in. It was fun seeing you. There it is. that says endless summer resort and it says it right there so that's how you know what bus to get on but basically you just come from the escalators and you go that way to get into the parks and when you come back out you just turn and go down the escalators if you were to keep going you'd be in parking garages so it's pretty easy to figure out how to get down here and then every bus for every hotel is marked they have buses to the other hotels as well from here um, so if you wanted to go resort hopping one day just to look around the other resorts you could do that easily they also have boat service to the other um, resorts down on the city walk. So you could always be on the city walk and then head in and ride a boat to one of the resorts. And that's always something fun to do. So lots of different options for your universal stay. Um, it doesn't just have to be 
all theme parks all the time. And right now, uh, I would recommend a four-day vacation um, for Universal. You could do, you know, two days of theme parks, one day of Volcano Bay, and you could do one day of resort hopping or the pool and city walk. You could mix and match and park hop and go into different parks and water park each day. Um, so it'd be very doable. But yeah, I would recommend at least a four-day trip, you know, five or six days if you really want to stretch it out. But I think four days would be good to see everything. And as we saw, that um, hotel, the Endless Summer Resort, is very affordable. So I would definitely check it out on your trip, as well as the other great hotels here if you want something a little more upscale. Well, everyone, I hope you liked today's video from the Endless Summer Resort. That surf side was really cool, and I can't wait to see what the dock side looks like when it opens next summer. So um, if you want to see any more of Universal's hotels, I have several other videos that you can check out um, on some of the other hotels that you could stay at here on your vacation. But I definitely think that that Endless Summer one is a great value uh, for what you get. If you liked today's video, hit like and subscribe down below to see more and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new videos. We try to upload one new video a week. All right, if you liked today's video, hit like and subscribe, like I said, and thanks for watching.